you look at this team right now, one, you're struggling to find is there what's really good about the White Sox right now? Like, yeah, they went on that that winning streak last week, and yeah, they've won what seven of ten or whatever the case is, and that's all well and good. And you're a game under 500 now. But when you sit down and you actually watch them, what's really good about the White Sox? What gives you this 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 idea that man that team can go and make a run and win a World Series? Because I don't have it. Oh, you know, no, n- nothing complete. I guess uh, the my uh, right and and yeah. and and I'm just you look at the Yankees and you go, there's no way. There's no way. And, Top to bottom. And even their role players step up and make plays. Whereas we have got we've got Josh Harrison botching double. Not, we got we got he's role players hitting, starting for shit. So. He's botched granted it granted, once again, garbage time, but he's botching double play balls. That should be routine. Because and, we have like, role players starting every single day. Yeah. Because right. that's the way granted injuries. They, I mean sure, but I would I wouldn't say every single guy one from nine in that Yankees lineup is an absolute like you know game breaker though. Like I said, even there, you know, not uh, anything against Kiner Falafa, but he's not the right, right. He's not the headliner of the team, right? No, he's still no. a very serviceable player and doing things. And that here's Josh here's Harris the other thing. dream of, right? And here's here's the other thing: one through five. What does what does one through five do? Right, like they mash baseballs. What was or what did you what did you say? Was it you in the group chat that said like it would be nice if like our guys. Yeah, why, our stars could yeah, be stars. Why, why yeah, why why aren't our stars elite? Right. There's right. Are. There's you are. sit there, there and you watch Aaron Judge, yeah. and he literally does whatever he wants with the baseball bat. Yeah. And we have to sit here and constantly at bat after at bat, at least and here in the 2022 yeah, season, and watch Jose Abreu drill ground balls to the yeah, third baseman and, shortstop. Yeah, and then we're also waiting for uh, Eloy to come back from his 18th uh, injury list and right. you know, like fuck it, shit like that. Like, like that what have be, we done? That guy, that guy should be a bat who can do whatever he wants with the baseball. He really should. I, what have I, we done as a fan base, Nani, to 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 yeah. sit here and oh, we you, have you're born into it. You're born into these it. elite, right? This this elite yeah. core that's that's here, and we've seen it. There's flashes, right? Yeah. But there's it, just always like, God, I wish we could yeah, do that, it, it, or uh, why can't we do that? Yeah, I think, like just venting some frustration here. It's not completely true here, but I, I had to say it because I thought it was funny, Sean. Uh, that the only one that they can't fuck up is Luis Robert, and that's solely because he was built in the lab and he's too athletically gifted to be able to fuck yeah, him up. As long as he's healthy, bad, and bad coaching, and all that shit. As long as he's healthy, he can't yeah. be bad. Yeah. It's and not that's allowed. Like, going back to your question that you had asked, Sean, you said, what like gives you like any hope? Obviously, as a complete unit, no, nothing right now. But as an individual, when you're like picking certain things out, Luis Robert, that's about it right now. Yeah, it just <laughs> I sit there like we we, you know, and I, I made this reference on Twitter, I made this reference in the group chat, but I always when I sit there and I watch the the White Sox, especially this year, I sit there and I think back to that quote of Jerry Reinsdorf. Where he's like, just dangle the carrot enough and they'll come back. You win a division, you finish in second place, the fan base gets a little amped up, they get excited, you ramp them up, and then, okay, well, hey, we won the AL Central. We had a couple playoff games. We had a blackout, we had blackout games at the at the G spot. That's all fun. And I sit here and I I, I look at them, I look at the Yankees, right? And I'm just like, there's no, there's no carrot dangled there right now. No. Right, like we sit here and we go, right. oh, it's so close. Yeah, it's so close. We got the core, and we bullshitted our way through an off season that we didn't address needs really outside of finally trading for AJ Pollock. Um, He's cold as shit right now. Yeah, right, like so. I just feel like we've been played, man. I I have, it, and it I'm really- I'm trying not to be so negative. I'm really not because I'm usually not that person, but they're driving me to that point. Yeah, it, it, I think it's just super demoralizing when you see, like I said, the fashion in which they lose. And then we were talking about the class of the American League. These are teams that you're going to have to beat. If your ultimate goal, you say your ultimate goal is to win a World Series. These are teams that you have to get yes. to be able to even get there, right? So we're not talking nationally. This is, it'd be one thing if this is an inter, interleague series. Later in the season, we're going to have the Dodgers coming to town. And it'd be one thing if, oh, you fuck, you like, say you got like swept or lost two of three of the Dude. Dodgers and they, and they waxed you a couple times. It's like, okay, well, we would worry about them if we got to the World Series. And that's it's, it. Now it's, it's like, like uh-uh, like these, like the Yankees, like they're, they're, like I said, class of the. We're not close. We're not close. Yeah. And it, and ultimately you have to sit there and you ask the question. And I know a lot of Sox fans have done this. 
do you want to win the World Series or do you want to win the AL Central? Because if you want to win the AL Central, hell, we could do that every year with this with this roster, right? If you want to win the World Series, you got to go and do things to – you can never make your team too much too bulletproof, right? Yeah. And it's just something that the Sox don't do. Yeah. And I just feel like we've been – we're being played. Yeah. I mean, and, 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 and I hope they change and I hope it all gets turned around. I just – I'm – I'm trying, man. Yeah, you know? and it just it, it sucks because it's a it's a what have you done for me lately? Game, any in any sport, I, I think that's you know the, the, that rings true, especially when you're talking about diehard fans and you know people that just love because that's the thing we're, we're here, Sean, because we love the team. The reason we tune in every day is we love the team. Shit, we did it through the rebuild. It's like yeah, we're gonna we are yes. going to keep coming back. So you do have that going for you, Jerry. But at the same time, it's what's the ultimate goal here, and are we really doing what we can to get there? So obviously, a lot of the onus falls back on Jerry. Uh, some mismanagement by Rick Hahn, if you want to go and point there. Um, I put a lot of it on player development as well. When you talk about that's my answer to why aren't our stars elite? That's sorry, yeah. but the, the Chris gets of the world aren't getting shit. Hey, done. you know what? Our, our stars can be, you know, AL player of the week or AL player yeah. of the month, but there's a difference between doing that. And when you're doing it every month. Yeah. And then also having uh, you know, like multiple MVP candidates. or, because they, or they keep, if they keep up at this rate, say Stanton just, you know, like keeps mashing and judge obviously does what he does both in the field and at the plate. You're talking about two possible MVP candidates there. Right. We and had, do you think you get a fluke shortened season to even have one? And that guy, is do just you think guys like the ground are striking out all the time now? So do you think guys like John Carr, uh, do, do you think guys like Stan and Aaron judge, sit there and have these excuses for two months of, well, let's just wait till it warms up. Wait till it warms up and they'll start hitting. It's 90 degrees outside. Stop hitting the ball to shortstop. One time, hit it to left field to, <laughs> yeah. to the fence. Yeah, I know. You, we, I think a lot of people got a bone to pick with Jose Abreu right now. I love, 80, I love Jose, 80, man. 87 but, weighted runs created plus. That's not great, Bob. I know what the, the, the three beginning. hitter. At the beginning I mean, of the year, he was hitting balls pretty hard, but man, that's tailed off. And like you said, just dr- smashing him into the ground. Or my my what my complaint is, I always see him go down. He's always down like 0-2. It seems like every at bat, you might as well start him with two fucking strikes. What the the, the entire lineup is doing that, yeah. Nani? They don't they don't work counts. They sw- they swing at stuff out of the zone, and then the stuff that's in yeah, the zone. Well, I think we got to see a little more from Mancada, but I think he he's one to actually work a count. <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah. That's once again one 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 player. <laughs> <laughs> one player that we're talking about here. Oh, Sean, it, it's dude. It, it, like I said, it, it's tough. And I, I hate to like, like just keep like piling on, but it, it just shows you where you stack up. This is a, you know, you don't want to talk, you know, some people said, Oh, we're going to talk about this as measuring stick. It's only May. Yet. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. You got to see where you stack up against these guys. And we don't it stack is. Up very well. And, right and, and, and the thing for me, for, for me personally, going into the series is I wasn't expecting us to, to win four games here. I wasn't, yeah. I mean, I to be honest, I was like, maybe we win one, right? Like we, we sneak one in. Yeah. What I wanted to see out of this series was one, how close we were, and two, can we compete? Yeah. And we haven't done either. 